Hello again, welcome to Canvas Camping again. Um, just like to say thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing if, if you're a subscriber. I know there's a, I've got a few now. Um, I just want to say thanks for the encouragement and the, uh, the words of support that I've had as well. I'm um, going to start by, uh, I'm going to continue my me, me little short series of uh, the gear that I've got. I've uh, done uh, bags and things last time and I'm going to do shelters this time. And that isn't including tents, so it's going to be the likes of um, your, your Polish ponchos, your levos, your zelt barns, uh, plush palatkas and, and the like. Um, yeah, so I'll just get cracking and I've made myself notes again because it's quite a, a substantial collection. I think, well, I think it's a substantial collection. My wife would say it's, I've got a massive collection of, I don't know what she calls it. <laughs> um, the first ones I want to start with are up here. I've actually got, um, I've, I've got a, 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 I've got a size 2 Polish Levo, which my lovely wife modded for me and put a skirt around it. Um, we've had that out a couple of times and the, the, the skirt makes a hell of a difference. But uh, obviously you've still got the centre pole, so I'll have to think of ways to get the, use a tripod in it and what have you, if I can. Um, I've actually got an unmodified size 2 Polish Levo as well. That's on here. And I have a Hobson's replica, Hobson's vintage replica size 3, which I got from Military Mart. Um, and I'll put the Military Mart website in the description below. Um, the size 3 is the one, if, if you've looked at if, back at a few of my other videos, um, this, that, that I, I actually used one half for one of my overnight camps. That was the uh, the replica. So yeah, I've got three levos, or three Polish levos. Uh, I've got two Hungarian um, levos. If you, would, I think they, I don't know, I don't know if they call them levos or they call them zeltbands or whatever. That, that doesn't sound right either. But I've got two of those. I actually got two because when I ordered the first one, um, because obviously the surplus had been storage and things like that, um, one was really faded and the other one was quite quite bright, the colours on it. So I, I, bought, <laughs> I ordered another one hoping that I would be able to uh, get at least either one fully faded one or one fully bright one. Um, as it is, I managed one of each. A fade, quite a faded one and quite a bright one so uh, yeah so I've got two of those I have at least four plush palatkas um, two of them are Romanian and two of them I think I believe are um, oh, it's gone right out of my head now I bel they're not Russian Two of them's Romanian. I think it could be, could be Polish. I'm not sure, but the, the, there's slight variations. And I mean, they're all obviously. I need to tell you all. Um, you all know that the the ponchos that make into you button them together or you tie it there, you, you lace them together, and you can make um, a tent or a shelter out of it. Um, I'm sort of teaching my granny to suck eggs really by saying that sort of thing I, I believe but uh, no I've got, I've got four of those anyhow, four of the, of the square plush platkers. Um something that I did pick up uh, again from Military Mart and it was something I'd never seen anywhere else um, I've actually got uh, some Norwegian um, canvas ponchos which can be buttoned together I'll put a picture in round about now so you know what I'm talking about but they're not your standard square six foot square um, canvas they're more of a diamond shape and when you look at you actually look on each poncho on the inside 
it, it shows you how you can button them together to make bigger and bigger tents depending on how many ponchos you're actually lacing together. Um, so yeah, that's that's sort of like me me poncho type shelters that I have. Um, the other thing, the other bit, the other things I was going to mention um, or, or add to this section is I was going to put tarps and whether they're wax canvas tarps or uh, man-made tarps. Um, I have got. Uh, I started out with a, a DD Hamex three by three, and then I started shopping around, and I found other not unbranded makes. I've got a, a few three by three, a few uh, they call them ten foot by ten foot. What it, there's only very little difference between them. I've actually got a really large fifteen bit. I think it's a fifteen foot by twelve foot um, canvas tarp. That's, I don't know if you can see that here. Probably not. That's a big canvas tarp just here. And above that I've actually got a wax canvas tarp which is 10 by 10. Um, I've yet to use that one. I'm really, I think I might be using that one on my next camp out. I'm really looking forward to it. I know it's heavy gear, but I'm really looking forward to using it. Um, like I said, various tarps. Got quite a few ponchos which I'm going to lump in together with this because they can all be used as shelters. So I've got a couple of the Dutch Army um, ponchos. That's, uh, there's one there. One somewhere back here. Uh, I got a, I got a, <laughs> I don't know if you call them woobies in this country, but I got a poncho liner to go with. That's a Dutch poncho liner to go with the poncho itself. So I can actually use that as a, a, a sleeping bag. So that's that's that. I've got some a couple of unbranded uh, ponchos. They're actually quite they're quite heavy duty. They make a really good shelter. We've actually used them um, along with some camo netting when we went watching seals in uh, the locally to us. Um, but they're really good, really heavy duty. They're, they're not, I mean, they're not breathable, but they're very good um, uh, ponchos. Definitely uh, keep the water out. Uh, I have got a British Army basher, that's it. That's my basher. I need to get it into a proper bag. Um, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna mention about bivy bags as well. What I've got I've got um I've got an OA OEX Bush Pro Bivy, but I also have an OEX Bush Pro tab to go with that one. That's my light duty uh uh, bivy bag if ever I need one. If I want one of the heavier duty ones I've actually got oh, that's a, a Miltech British Army um, bivy bag, one of the Gore-Tex Gore I think, I don't know what the, the their version of Gore-Tex is but it's one of the breathable bivy bags, that's that one. Uh, I've also got a Dutch army bivy bag, which is under here somewhere. Oh, there's oh. that's the OEX Bush Pro tab. I used that on the uh, the day camp down by the shore a couple of videos back. Really good, good size. Folds up really neat, tidy. Rather impressed with the OEX stuff. Um, Other than that, it's just a whole heap of various size tabs. Um, yeah, and that, that, that more or less sums it up really, to be honest. Um, like I said, I intend to go out with the wax canvas tab. 
I actually got the wax <laughs> when I first started getting all of this gear the wax canvas tab was one of the first things I'd got and stupidly I didn't look around and buy British uh, I actually got it made and imported it from America uh, it's uh, one of the ones from if you follow them called Cracker Bushcraft it's uh, I got it from there uh, but it should be pretty heavy duty and it's uh, like I say we'll find out in it this week hopefully I'll take it out it's really good quality anyhow so yeah that, that about sums it up I'm just trying to keep them quite short and sweet um, trying to keep my audience retention I don't want to just waffle on and waffle on and waffle on if you've got any questions about what I've got just pop them in the comments and I'll uh, I'll answer them as, to, as much as I can uh, of course I do answer I'll, at the moment I'm answering every comment uh, because I'm not getting many but the ones I do I do I do answer them um, like I said at the beginning of this series I, I said it was going to be five I intend to do all sort of like what tents I've got next um, and then then I'll well I might do I'm, I'll, I'll probably do the tents because there isn't many of those <coughs> excuse me um, I'll do my sleeping gear like sleeping mats and things like that what uh, sleeping bags I use and things uh, and then I'll finish off on um, on the mess kits that I've got and use and then that should be it but like I say I'll try and keep them short and sweet just so I can keep people's interest as I say again if you've got any questions don't hesitate to send me uh, a question on the comments I'll put as much information on the comments as po so like in the description as possible where I got certain things and I'll put websites and things like that on anyhow thanks for watching hope you stick around please like it like and subscribe it would be really appreciated um, but yeah that's about it till uh, next time thanks very much